So anyone that lives here in Northwest Indiana knows that we've become a mecca of craft beer. So have you ever wondered what you would get if you took a brewmaster that looked like a Viking ship captain and paired him up with a former video game programmer and avid rock climber, also turned brewer, do you ever wonder what you'd get out of that? Well, I'll tell you what you get. You get some of the best beer around. And it's beer for everybody. There's beer here for seasoned craft beer drinkers, hop heads, people that like malts and browns, as well as the newer craft beers crowd, those that are coming in trying to discover some better tastes. It's all here in a family-friendly atmosphere with great food and an awesome staff. I got to sit down with these guys, and I've got hours and hours of YouTube video. Here's just the very first beer we tried. Here's a quick review. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Alan Hain here, NorthwestIndianaLife.com. I am here today talking beer with a couple of guys here from Figure Eight Brewing in Valparaiso. I'm here with Mike Lottie, who is the head brewer, and I'm here with Tom Eubin, who is the owner and brewer, right? True. True. <laughs> I don't brew as much as I used to. And I'll tell you what, I have got to be at probably True. the best spot that I could ever be at any day in Northwest Indiana. So we're going to talk a little bit of craft beer. We've done a nice brewery tour. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the brewing industry and craft beer in general, but right now we're going to do my favorite part, and that's we're going to actually try some beers. Awesome. So, Mike, I guess you're going to be up first. Yeah, well. Tell us what we got, and let's talk a little bit about brewing and beer, and I want to talk about the business as we're going along. All Good. right. So. The first beer we'll start out with is Lost Saint. It's a Saison. Um, one of the beers that when I joined the company, we decided to... Uh, develop and bring on. It was started out as a seasonal and got added to be a year-round product because we had really good sales on it uh -huh. and uh, just wanted to add, or add another profile to the brewery as to another fun beer to have for everybody to try. And enjoy. It's a farmhouse sale is what they call them. Yep. They used to feed, was it uh, the Dutch or they used to Belgians. give the Belgians, they would give this to their farm workers, right? To during, refresh them during the <laughs> haymaking seasons. Yeah. Yes. So typically lower in alcohol too, right? What's that? Oh uh, yeah, it's six and a half. Oh, so, you, so okay, that's good. Well, I think it was yeah. rel relative to the day that might that might have been lower. And okay, relative gotcha. to the Belgians, I've right. heard they're hardy drinkers. They are. Yeah. They like triples and quadruples. So yeah, it's oh. a fun beer. We use uh, white pepper, coriander, grains of paradise as spices in it. Yep. And uh, use some local honey as well in it. Wow. It's a nice, crisp, refreshing beer. Very nice. A great small, a little great banana nice. clove in there. I like. Yep. It's one really of my favorites. Good. Yeah. So, guys, this is definitely a session beer, um, and it is refreshing. I, I go and I've talked to you guys about this before. So, in the winter time, I'm kind of going into browns and malts, and the hot, hot of the summer, I like a lot of hops. But in the spring, I like a refreshing kind of thing. I'm coming out of winter. I want something that's going to remind me of spring. And this is a nice, spicy little beer here. This would be a great spring beer. Um, and again, not too high in alcohol, so you can drink a few of these. Now, I will tell you, and, and you, you guys have seen some of the things I do, I really like to appeal to non-craft beer drinkers. This is a great introduction to full-flavored craft beer that's not going to take you over the edge. That's right. Um, a lot of times, people, uh, beer snobs, will grab a, a Miller Light drinker and, and hand them a double IPA and then laugh at them when they don't like it. But this... <laughs> that's I the wrong would... approach, because we're trying to introduce these people who don't know about beer, what craft beer is about. That's right. Beer with full flavor, and this is... And incorporate it to everybody all walks of life yeah. you know it's got so much different things happening that yeah. it kind of you lose the idea that it's a beer sometimes and yeah. it's, it's a good beer for that and great carbonation in this too so it's got that crispiness that that a a, 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 a miller light drinker will like but again a lot of flavor here mm -hmm. and I mean, really good, kind of fruity. No, I can get this in your pre-filled growlers, right? Yes. Okay. So All of our beers you can get in the pre-filled or growlers. and the bottle. So here's the thing. And on tap. This is this is take to the beach. This is sit by the pool. I mean, this is really when it's really hot outside. I would definitely recommend this. I mean, you can drink it year round, obviously, but I would love to drink this when I'm hot and sweaty outside by the pool. This would be a yep. great refresher for me. Lawnmower beer. 
It is Lawnmower Beer. Lawnmower Beer is a great, and you know what? And it's got more flavor than most what other breweries might call Lawnmower Beer. This is a lot more flavor than that. I do the grass smell. <laughs> I love the grass smell. Not in the beer. No, definitely not in the beer. Yeah. Excellent start. What do we got next? All right.